I want to look at verse 21 again. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. So now we're going to have to begin to watch what we say. It could be about money, but we'll get off of that subject. But what are we saying about our lives? What are we saying about our family, our children, our spouses, our jobs? What are we saying about our health? What are we saying about our life in general? Now, we'll find in God's Word that He talks about all areas of our life. Now, the thing is, do we believe what He said? Do we believe what the Bible says? Now, here's a sure way to find out if we actually believe what the Bible says. Are we saying it? What do we say about it? You can say, oh, I believe the Bible, and then turn right around on the other hand and, and, and say something stupid. <laughs> right? Say, so I don't, you know, I, I just, I don't know if we're going to make it or not. I don't know how we're going to make it. You can say something like that. How many has ever said that before? I don't know what we're going to do. i tell you what. What you say is going to set the course for your life. And it is. Because we're actually reaping right now what we've already talked about and said. We're reaping right now what we have actually believed. And you may not, you may not agree with that. You might think, well, there's people out here that think, well, God, he's just in total control. And, and whatever happens will happen and it'll happen just the way God wants it to and how, however it happens that is the will of God friend that's the stupidest statement you could ever make in your life if that's the truth you might as well throw this Bible away we don't need it who, who needs it if you can't change anything if what you believe won't make any difference then fold it up and put it away it'll make no difference right and these people believe that. That's why they say, well, you know, God had some reason for doing this or some reason for doing that. Look, have you forgot? Don't you, aren't you even aware that there is an enemy that the Bible says has come to kill, steal, and destroy? Have you forgot the, 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 about what Jesus talked about the enemy? Have you forgot that Jesus said that when the sower sows the word, the enemy comes immediately and tries to steal the word of God? While if this other concept was truth, that God does whatever he wants to do, when he wants to do it, how he wants to do it, and you can't change it, what is, we're, we're helpless. We'd just be, as some people would say, at the mercy of God. Yeah, I'd like to, I, we're at the mercy of God. But not like that. Now God's give us this word so we can believe the truth. So we can know the truth. And Jesus said, if you'll continue in my word, then you'll be my disciples. And you'll know the truth. And then the truth will make you free. Praise God. Can you say amen? If you continue in his word, why continue in something if you, if you don't have no say-so? Why continue in something if, it's not, if, if there's nothing that you can do? I'm telling you there's, you, can there's everything for you to do. There's everything for you to do. Here it is. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death is there. Life is there. If I speak death, death is there. If I speak life, life is there. What is life? It's the Word of God. It's what God says about the situation. If I speak life to it, I'll, I'll, I'll reap that life. I'll eat from my, the words that I speak. My life will be filled with it. If I speak death, 
If I just keep on saying, well, you know, you never, you just, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. People talk like that all the time. You know, you don't know what's going to be tomorrow like that. And we've had people say, you know, that, that old big old death angel, he could just zap you out of here at any time. <laughs> well, not if God's got anything to say about it, he won't. And, and you've got things to say about it. Job, Job said, born, man born of a woman, few days upon the earth and full of troubles. They say it today. Man born of a woman, few days upon the earth, full of trouble. I'd hate to get up every morning with that on my heart. Can you imagine just getting up every day and saying, man born of a woman? Job. Said that. Job. 